we can confirm that there are negotiations between Manchester United and Juventus. Talks ongoing. I'm told that they don't see any issue in reaching an agreement with Juventus. Uh, Manchester United know that Juventus are prepared to sell a their Rabiot. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel from Fabrizio Romano. As always, here to get us to discuss about the transfer market. And today we have to update on Manchester United proposals, on Manchester United bids made in the last few days, also things happening around Benjamin Sesko, my United and Chelsea target that is going to Leipzig and many other things around Europe with Memphis Depay, with Joel Chelsea, so let's jump into it together. And so guys, let me say that my United are trying to react uh, to the terrible game with Brighton because it's true, as I told you yesterday, that they submitted the proposal for Marco Arnautovic from Bologna. They confirmed that they want to keep the player, that they rejected the opening bid of Manchester United, around 10 million euros. Bologna want way more than this for Arnautovic. It's true that Eric Ten Hag is a big fan of the Austrian striker. He's convinced that he could be a player ready for the Premier League level again after what he did with West Ham. Let me say that is something that is sounding like crazy. Speaking to people into Italian football, they were not expecting Manchester United to arrive with a bid for Marco Arnautovic. They were waiting Manchester United on different kind of players, maybe Serie A players too, but not uh, Marco Arnautovic who did very well with Bologna last season, but uh, is not what uh, people into Italian football expected. So let's see if now Manchester United will decide to bid again for Arnautovic and to try to reach an agreement with Bologna, because for the player it would be a dream to join my United, but now the last bid has been turned down, the opening one, and so let's see if my United will jump again on this one or not, but the reaction is uh, really surprised by Italian sources today. And Manchester United are also working on Adrien Rabiot deal, uh, news reported by David Donast and Athletic uh, on a Monday, and we can confirm that there are negotiations between Manchester United and Juventus. Talks ongoing. I'm told that they don't see any issue in reaching an agreement with Juventus. Uh, Manchester United know that Juventus are prepared to sell Adrien Rabiot. They told Adrien Rabiot that they want him to leave the club this summer in case a good proposal will arrive. So this is something that is decided since end of May, and this is why Man United are convinced that Richard an agreement with Juventus on the fee is not going to be a problem. Now there is a discussion ongoing with the intermediaries and with the mother of the player, Veronique Rabiot, who is the agent of Adrien Rabiot, and now negotiations are needed to reach an agreement on player side. And let me mention negotiations with Rabiot's side. Rabiot's camp have always been tough in the past for Barcelona. You remember he was one step away from joining Barca in the past on a free, and then he joined Juventus. Same with Paris Saint-Germain, with Roma, when Walter Sabatini was the sport director and was negotiating with Rabiot. So it's never easy to sign Adrien Rabiot. Let's see what May United will do in this case on player side to reach an agreement on personal terms. So, Rabiot Arnautovic for Man United, not Benjamin Sesko. Man United had more than two meetings with his agent, they've been leading the race for a long time, but then what happened? That Man United had these meetings, Chelsea had a meeting with his agent last Sunday, but Red Bull Salzburg decided to keep the player for this summer and to sell the player directly for summer 2023, and Red Bull Leipzig have an agreement in principle with Red Bull Salzburg, same group of course. Red Bull for Benjamin Sesko. What happens? Red Bull Leipzig this week will complete the negotiation for Benjamin Sesko. The fee could be more than 20 million euros, around 25, 27, but they are still discussing on the final fee. I will keep you posted. And so what's the plan? The plan is pretty clear. Benjamin Sesko stays at Salzburg this summer after Salzburg rejected the proposal for Leipzig to sign the player immediately. So Sesko is joining summer 2023, Timo Werner is joining Leipzig this summer on permanent deal from Chelsea for more than 20 million euros medical on Tuesday morning. And Christopher Nkunku extended his contract with Leipzig this summer, but there are good chances for him to leave in summer 2023 as he has a release clause included into his contract. So Timo Werner is the present and the future, Benjamin Sesko will be the future next summer, and Nkunku could leave the club next summer in 2023. These are the things happening around uh, English clubs and we know also what happens with uh, Bernardo uh, Silva guys. It's important to say that Barcelona are really intention to push on this Bernardo Silva story. They're waiting to understand what happens with Frankie, but Barcelona want Bernardo Silva and they know that Bernardo would be keen on the move. Now the key point is to understand what happens for Frankie de Jong, because Barcelona are not negotiating yet with, Ber with Manchester City because they want to wait and see what happens with Frankie. So this is the 
step, but Bernardo Silva, I told you in July, in a video here, is the obsession of Xavi Hernandez, and he's still the obsession of Xavi Hernandez. So, Jorge Cruyff, Matteo Lemani, Juan Laporta, they are working to find a way for Bernardo Silva. For Memphis Depay, negotiations ongoing between Barcelona and his agent for the termination of the contract for Memphis to be available on a free. Only one player between Obama Young and Depay will leave Barca this summer. So let's see what happens between Chelsea and Obama Young. He's one of the players they are considering, but still no bid. And let me say for Depay, it's important to see what happens with top clubs because he will only accept the termination of the contract in case top clubs. Uh, will submit a proposal to sign him. Keep an eye on Juventus because they're interested and Tottenham are trying to sell both Lo Celso and Nombele to Villarreal, loan with buy option that could become, could become a mandatory obligation next year uh, in case some targets will be achieved. And so let's see what happens, but Lo Celso is really close to rejoin Villarreal and let's see what happens with Nombele. And so thank you guys as always for following me, remember to subscribe to the channel, to like this video, turn on the notification bell and let me know your opinion on all this move. Cesco, Arnautovic, Rabiot, how do you see these moves for Man United and for all the other clubs around Europe like Leipzig signing Benjamin Cesco, top talent? I wait for your reaction, guys, here in the comments. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao!